Lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. Oh, I've been waiting for this all day, and we are now officially underway. McDavid's got it deep in the offensive end. Oh, it's denied by Ottinger. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Gains the zone from the right side. And the puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it over from center. And they send it right back to him. Tries to the sweet spot. That opportunity is rejected. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. There's a hit on the play. Picked up along the wall by Larkin. Scores! Gets his shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. USA's opportunistic game finally pays off as they have the game's first goal here in the back half of the frame. Uh, now it's about continuing to push, right? One goal simply isn't enough. You're at the back half of the first, which means there's over 40 minutes left to play in this game. they got to continue to execute if they want to wind up with a W at the end of this one. And that carries off a body in traffic. Taken along the wall by Kachuk. Moves along the boards with some purpose. He's got a step. Oh, denies him on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Solid check to slow him down. Sends the feet in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. USA's got the puck against the boards. Fans calling for a shot before it's too late. There's the end of period number one. Both teams will grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with second period action in moments. Opening face-off here in this second period is about set to go. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. USA is playing real well, and they need to continue to push the pace and continue on from that first period where they established a one-goal lead and they had majority of shots on net. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, the coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one-goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. got that shutdown zone ability, which means he can defend one-on-one -on -one situations so well, guys. That's how he can break up his opponent's attacks. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Centering feed! And that's stopped! Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Thompson's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Team Canada's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. It's in the back of the net for an old goal. James, how surprised do you think the goaltender is? He just spins around and tries to clear the puck, and he fires it past the tender. Team Canada's been right there with them all night long, and look at this, we've got the equalizing goal. Yeah, that counter punch was something, James. To be able to get the equalizer, you can see the excitement on the bench. That's going to provide a lot of energy in the second period. Receives the pass. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Stop. Oh, you gotta love this stuff, James. The game within the game, and this is a one-on-one -on -one battle, and this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at, and he wins it. Team USA's got a hold of the puck. 
McAvoy's got it in the offensive zone. Here he is, takes the shot. Good save, somehow got a piece of it. Play blown dead, let's get the call. Thompson's called for tripping, he's off to the box. Truculence zone ability is that willingness to play that hard and heavy brand of hockey, guys. He can really pressure his opponents into making bad plays with a hard body check. Quick feed to Pavelski. Team Canada's got possession of the puck. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Cuts into the paint. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Canada's got the puck. Nice feed from the right wing. Break away. Sends it to the middle. Scores! Putting the special and special teams, they take the lead. And often when you're on special teams, James, it can go either way in terms of the momentum. If you don't generate anything, it goes the other way. If you generate something, it's all in your favor. I'll tell you what, that was execution. Well, your specialty team coaches are constantly telling you on a power play that you need to take advantage. And the way that you do that is to take away the eyes of the goaltender. A ton of net front presence here. And that's the reason the seeing eye shot finds its way to the back of the net. Team Canada's taken a one goal lead here in period number two. Yeah, now it's about not sitting back, not saying, hey, we've got a lead, we're going to protect it, but being aggressive and trying to go after more. Denies that opportunity. Moves it to the middle. He's got the puck in their own end. He's got a step. Makes the save. Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of his crease, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. And he takes the pass. And now he moves it quickly. Oh! challenged the shooter on this James he didn't sit back in his net he came right out to the top of the paint and said if you're gonna beat me you gotta find room here they come on the attack excellent stick work on the play all right we've played now 40 minutes in this one and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played Welcome back to EA Sports, the final frame of this one. Here we go, put up a shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Who's the puck? Crosby's usually an impact player, and tonight he's been really quiet. You got to expect that he's going to find his game because he needs to if his team wants to win. This one's still close. They can still get it done, but he needs to be a difference maker. USA's got the puck along the wall. Still plenty of time left in this frame. It's a 2-1 hockey game. Team Canada's won the faceoff. He gets a piece of it with his trapper. Nice play. This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready. Scores! And that's three unanswered goals, and as my mom likes to say, they're cooking with gas. <laughs> they're cooking with gas, and you can expect that they have put their opponents on their heels. This is a team that knows that they have worn their opponent down. Now they got to keep the pedal to the metal. Canada's sending a quick message here early in this third period with that goal, Cheryl. We are not slowing down. It's not slowing down, and it's entertaining when you provide offense right off the hop. We love to see it, and you know who does it? Their opponent. Here in the late goings of the period, Team Canada's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Oh, what a slick stop by Ottinger. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. USA's going right, on the attack as they gain the zone. Denies him! Well, James, that puck is distributed perfectly. It's sitting nice and flat, and the shooter just loves it, gets all of it, but the goaltender makes a great save. Five. Five. 
That's all she wrote from this one. Team Canada's win tonight, Cheryl. Kind of elementary thanks to special teams. Well, power play is everything in these games, and they create mm -hmm. momentum, and they also create a ton of opportunity. And it was their execution, the ability to move the puck and have that precise accuracy that did it for them tonight. Thanks so much for taking time out of your schedule to join us tonight. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Cebulski. See ya.